Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Chemical React. I'm your host, Fusion Form, and over there, like always, is my co-host, Gorilla Fist. How's it going? Gorilla. Yes. What happens when you make a deal with the devil? Um, nothing good comes from <laughs> Obviously. That's the obvious answer. Because, uh, you know, growing up, I was raised at the Catholic, so everything is a sin. So just even looking at the devil is a no-no for me. <laughs> it's a no-no. <laughs> so, yeah, I wouldn't even talk to him. So, uh, yes. You, do you think Yuji is going to have to make some kind of deal with his inner demon? <laughs> I, I hope not. I, I, again, I don't suggest making deals with any demons, but metaphorically or, or inanimate, period. <laughs> That's just my motto in life. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but what about you? You think it's a good deal to make a uh, make a deal with a demon or a devil? Mm, I think it have to depend on the demon. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to even talk to you anymore. Hey, you might. You know, you could make a deal with like a lesser demon, and you know, ultimate a power to ultimate get him power. to make him a better demon to you know defeat Why? the other bigger demons. I don't know. Like, I'm, trying to I'm reading too many light novels at this point in my life. <laughs> yeah, I can tell because you're probably reading those light novels where the demon's like, I love you. And it's like, let's be together. No, I no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm going with that. I don't read a lot. I don't read enough of those, you know. But anyway. Yeah. So before we go ahead of ourselves, if you enjoy reaction, if you enjoy our reaction to this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, come join our Discord, Twitter, and Patreon. And without further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. And three, two, one, go. Into the hole we go. <laughs> that sounds pretty nasty. It sounds nasty. <laughs> but you, you know as well as I do in Shonen, main protagonist doesn't die until the very least of, of the story, anime, manga, whatever. Oh, he wants... Can we talk about that? The fact that he went inside himself or whatever this is inside him is like actually his ribcage. <laughs> not like not like in Aruda where it's a black place. Yeah. It's pretty, it's very atmospheric. And you rip my heart out. <laughs> this is true. Right into the action. I like that. No none of that BS scared I'm weak stuff. Just kick some ass. Begin the training montage. Don't forget this is a training montage for the uh the other members. Oh yeah, there is. Falls <laughs> 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 off. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> I swear, this is like a a reference to another kung fu flip. Innate domain. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. That's... I was thinking something a little different, but neat. Oh. Just like that YouTube, YouTube terms and policy, that's pretty vague. Oh yeah, I forgot, he was scared of like... Was he scared of dying? Or something like that? Uh, the main protagonist was. Yeah. <laughs> Just get one good punch in. Oh, that's good. We'll fight to the death. Wow, already over. You're an, he's an idiot for that. He know he couldn't win that. Obviously, those are going to be the two. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so nonchalant about it, too. <laughs> yeah, I was to say, like, oh, no cliche crying and you're supposed to be dead type of stuff. I like the nurse. She's like, ah, well, put this on in the meantime. <laughs> <laughs> Could you leave him dead on the records? <laughs> what a good guy. I love him. <laughs> I sense something menacing. <laughs> Well, damn. Well, damn. That looks like the, uh, I don't remember the name, but you seen Hellraiser? That cube. Oh, 
and he quits. But what about your sisters? Oh wow. Hey, that guy was right. He was he was right to leave. Holy shit. Oh, everyone's burning. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting him to be that strong. I thought he was just some kind of goofball. But interesting how you mentioned, like, which is your strongest finger. What do you think is the strongest finger? You think the thumb, pinky, middle finger, ring? Well, he said, he said how how many, how strong, like, he was like, he's, he's strong as eight to nine fingers. Yeah, but I'm just talking about, like, what do you think in terms of, like, thumb. fingers and strength? Definitely like thumb. Thumb. I think thumbs are the strongest. Let's see if that ever comes into play in any of the future episodes. Oh, yeah, the guy who keeps shouting out random food names, right? Uh, yeah. She's swinging on the, the pull-up bar, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> well. It became paper. That's a technique, right? The book on paper? <laughs> it might as well be. It's a technique. It's, I think it's a ninjutsu in some stories. Spirit gun? Bankai Resent gun? Alright. I like these references. <laughs> if I don't see a spirit gun in this Kamehameha. anime... Kamehameha! I get Persona 5s from that. Yeah, like, this sounds like Persona 5 where you're fighting that first, uh, boss. Watch movies. What? This is my kind of training. <laughs> Terrible French films. <laughs> what did the French ever do to you? My guess is that uh, is to control his emotions. You know, if he gets scared, he lets out too much energy. If he gets angry or something, you think so? I think it's the yeah. Well, definitely the worker with his emotions. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna go tame a new creature. He need, he does need new ones. Then some die. This is true. I don't know if they just come back after like you know a certain amount of time. Did you just learn how to phase through stuff? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Tom Cruise reference, isn't it? This is Michigan impossible. Is it? It's possible. <laughs> He's having a great time. Oh, damn. You got scared? Come on, man. No. <laughs> it just surprised me. Damn, he just zoomed away. No yeah, time this, wasting. This is what he fought, right? In episode... Oh. Ah. Let the fighting begin. I doubt it. It's going to end right In the there. next episode. He came back. He's alive. I mean, it, it's... He had to come back. I mean, you we just saw it coming. I mean, it was the, uh... like episode six. I mean, he had to come back. He was the main protagonist of all of this thing. We did get some interesting tidbits. So he's made a deal mm -hmm. that he can come back for a minute by saying, uh, what was the word? Extension. Extension. And he'd forget. But he also made the, he said, like, fine. He's like, fine. I won't hurt or kill anyone, right? Yeah. And he... So, what, like... Then what's the what's the purpose of him... What What's that minute for, then? I don't know. Either, like, more exposure... The more time he comes out, the more... And more likely he'd be able to take over the body. 
then again, like it's basically you know that's you know the famous phrase "Don't make a deal with the devil." Yeah. And basically, like I like I was talking about the whole like oh they're, like YouTube's policy it's pretty vague like that could be the same thing It's like I won't hurt anybody like that you don't know or you love or care you know like yeah. that shitty GD kind of wish you know you shouldn't specify. Yeah. And but so, now I understand so we, why he had to forget it because all the other uh, sorcerers will find out like did you make because like that was like right right what, yeah. He was like, did you make but, a contract or some type of deal with that thing? I'm but, like, I think um, so. everyone's training. Except for, and... uh, what's your name? Nobot, Nobola? I can't say that. Name. Someone help me out in the comments. What, the, not... the female protagonist? There's a lot of female protagonists. The main female protagonist? The one with the hammer and nail. The main female one, yes. What do you mean? She's training. It looked like she was shopping for clothes. Yeah, and she was very concerned that the panda was going to come out of nowhere. <laughs> the panda. Panda got enough of that shit. No, the panda. Pa panda training hardcore. We got their, We got his his sensei watching out for him, making sure no one knows he's alive right now while he trains him. Yeah, like and now he's about to fight. Yeah, I like how he told the doctor, yeah, um, yeah, for the records, just mark him dead for now. We'll bring it back during a tournament event. Or Keep it on the down the exchange event. The exchange event. I'm excited for that. That'll be good. That's going to be great. Uh, obviously, everyone's going to get a power level up. New techniques. That guy seemed to... Uh, what's his name? Fushi... Fushigu? Fushigo? Not good with his name. But he was. it looked like he phased through the wall. But it also sounded like water. So, I don't know. He might be able to pull something out. Or it could just be like one of those things where like he goes through the wall and a hand comes out another wall and it smacks you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what that technique is called. Or what would it be called? I, I, well, we don't exactly know what it was. Was it phasing? Was it like extra dimensional portal? Uh, we'll have to see. But he, he was talking, he was thinking about this, this, that special creature, which he, that thing could phase. So, I think it could phase. Could it phase? It just kind of, yeah, it was like in a wall or whatever. But anyway. I don't know. Good episode. Next episode is going to be great, though, because we're going to get a fight. An nice. Another fight. They're really good with fights in this show. Yeah, uh, again, this anime is very, uh, very, not, I wouldn't say fast paced. It's very brisk in everything. It doesn't, like, waste time being overly sappy or overly everything, you know? You know what I'm talking about? You know, those typical shonen where they mm -hmm. got to drag it out. Like, no, like, hey, you came back from the dead. High five. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No, but yeah. So that wraps it up. And like always, guys, we will see you to the next episode.